Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to solve a 3x3 cube. Before we start, we should familiarize ourselves with the pieces and how they work. This first one is called center pieces. There are six of them and they do not move. No matter how you turn them, they always stay the same. This next piece is called the edge piece. They only switch places with other edge pieces and there are two colors on them. The final piece is the corner piece. and and they only switch places with other corner pieces and there are three colors on them okay so now that you've known all those pieces it's time to start the first step is to get the white cross and the white cross involves four white edge pieces connecting to the white center and their matching center so there are four steps in this the first one is to connect the edge piece to the colored center the second step is to move it up to this center the third step is to undo anything and the fourth step is to place in these corners okay so step one is to match it up so I have already matched the edge piece up step two match it up with the white step three undo anything you undid we haven't undone anything and step four we'll do that later so and then it goes all over again so step one match it up with its center well I can't do this because I'll mess up that so step one I'll align it. Step two, you can switch the steps around. Step two, undo it. Step three, match it up. Um, do that with the rest. Step one, align it. We did. Step two, bring it up to the white. And step three, we didn't undo anything. Final one. Step one, match it up to its colored side. Step two, move it up to the white. Step three, undid it, undo anything. Well, we haven't undid anything. Okay, so now that you've got your white cross, now it's time to place the correct corners in. So, as you can see, this piece is white, green, and red. So what I do with these corners, I have to match up this white, green, red corner into the white, green, and red corner. So it has to be right here. And now... Also, the, another step is that the white has to be on one of these sides. It can't be on the bottom like this one is, but I'll correct that later. So this white, this white, green, and red piece, it's already in between. Step two, you have to place it in. Well, how do you place it in? You can't do this because it'll mess up your cross. So you have to take it away, bring this down, move this corner back, and bring it up. And you do that with the other three. Let's take this one. It, this can't work because it has to be on the bottom like this one is. So what do I do to um, do this? I go like that. I move this. And I bring this up. That way this is back down. Then I move it so it's in between the centers. And I take it away. Bring this down. Move it the corner back. And bring it up. So now I have two. And I just need two more. And so this one is orange and blue, so I move it in between orange and blue. And I can't go like this again, so I have to move it away, bring it down, bring it back, and move it up. And this last one, it's below. If yours is below, put it underneath an incorrect one, and do this. Move it out of the way of this, and undo this. And now I just place this in. You have it like this in between the corners, take it away, bring it down, move it back, and bring that up. And when you're done with that, you should have the white side and the first layer. The next step requires you to get the second layer. So as you can see, what you need is the bottom four edge pieces that are not yellow. So anything that has yellow on it on the bottom, you don't want to worry about. I don't want to worry about this or this, but these two I need to place. So this one, it's blue and orange. So what I do with this bottom edge piece, so I move blue to blue, I see orange is over here, so I take it away, bring this corner down, move it over, and match that up. And I turn it, and place it in like we did earlier. And what that does is it basically pairs the corner up with this edge piece, so when you place it in, these two get in. And so we're going to do that with the other three. And so here is a red and blue, blue, so I take it away, and 
And I got that one in. I paired it up with the corner. And then I need this one. Green, orange. Take it away. And the final one is with red and green. So I match it up with red, and this is green, so I take it away. I pair it up, and I place it back in. And that completes the second layer. Sometimes when you look on the bottom, they'll be all yellow. And so what you look for is ones that are placed incorrectly, like these two just need to be switched. So I take them out by doing the same thing. I pair this corner up with this piece, the yellow piece. And then that frees this one, so I can place this in to blue. Pair it up and then put it back in. And then that frees this one, the green one. So I can move this over. I see red is here, so I take it away. I pair it up. And I place it back in. And that should get you the second layer. Alright, so after you've done the second layer, you want to flip your cube over like this. And when you first flip it over, you might notice there is a dot an L, a line, or the cross. And what we're trying to do right now is get the cross. So if you have a cross, you don't need to do this step. So if you have the dot, you can hold it any way you want, making sure the bottom is facing up, and you do this algorithm. And that gets you to the L. When you have the L, you want to hold it so one one part's pointing towards you and the other part is pointing towards the right. And you do the same thing. Turn the front, you bring up the right. Turn the top, bring the right down. Turn the top again, and then turn the front. And that should give you the line. When you have the line, you want to hold it horizontally and do the same thing. And that should get you the cross. When you have the bottom cross, you want to turn this these edge pieces so that two of them are correct. Like this green is matching up with this green and this red is matching up with this red. There can only be two correct at a time. If yours has four correct, like orange, blue, red, and green, you get to skip this part. But if you only have two, like me, then you have to do this part. So what you want to do is you want to hold it so that the two incorrect ones are pointing towards you and to the right and you do this algorithm. Um, turn the right up, spin the top twice, bring the right down, move it over, move the top over, bring the right up, move it again, bring it down, and float it. And when you do that, you should have all of these edge pieces connected with their center. If you have a case like this where the two correct are on opposite sides, then what you have to do is you hold it on one of the correct ones, and you do this. And don't do that last turn. That should get you two correct. Then you can hold it so that one's pointing towards you and to the right. And you do the same thing except with the last turn. And that should get you all four edge pieces corrected. Alright, so the last two steps are to place the corners correctly and turn them so that all the yellow is facing up. Right now, as you can see, we um, these corners aren't placed correctly. Like those yellow, green... And red. This isn't correct, because this isn't green and red. Blue and orange. That's not correct. This one isn't correct, this one isn't correct, and this one isn't correct. So if you have four incorrect, then you can start here. But if you have all of them correct, you get to skip this. And if you have one correct, I'll get to that soon. If you have all corners incorrect, what you want to do, hold it anyway, making sure that the bottom is facing up, and bring the left up, move the top, bring the right up, bring the top back, bring this back, connect the corner, bring it down, and turn the top once. And when you do that, you should have at least one correct, like this. The other shouldn't be correct. Okay, so when you have one corner correct, you want to hold it on the bottom right corner, and you want to do the exact same thing. And you may have to do it one more time, but for me, all of them are correct now. Now the last step is to turn these corners correctly so that the whole cube is solved. What you want to start out with is have incorrect yellows pointing towards the right. Two incorrect yellows pointing towards the right. 
If you have it like this so that the yellows are pointing towards you and the back, then I'll get to that later. But if you have it pointing towards the right, then you perform this. You bring the right up, spin the top twice, bring the right down, bring the top back, bring the right up, connect it again, and bring it down. Same thing with the left. Except instead of turning it back, you go this way. You bring the left up, you connect it, and then you bring it down. And that should flip those corners. And now when you have one that is pointing towards you and the back, you need to do that twice. So when you do it twice, it should look like this the first time. Now the yellows should be pointing towards the right, and you can do it one more time. That'll flip these so that they're like that. And that should solve your Rubik's Cube. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Thanks for watching, and leave a like and subscribe for more videos.